Hello! My name is Drumboy, or in real life, Rasmus. And today I want to show you how I made my song for the Chuck Sutton Snare Challenge. Where he basically provided us with a sample, this one. Snare! And he asked us to do a song with it. So I made this song by only using that sample. Uh, so everything you hear is from that sample and I just want to show some tips and tricks and uh, some parts from my song where I will explain how I did the sound design so here is a part of the song Yeah, uh, so right away I knew that I would have to work uh, with a sample in a few different, different ways. So for example, I knew that I wanted to extract some kind of white noisy thing from the sample. Uh, so I tried out a few things and came up with this. Just placing a bunch of OTTs and uh, doing some EQ on the sample. So it sounds like this. So you can hear the hear the tail this creates from the sample. Uh, so I resampled that and uh, created a long white noisy tail. So, so it sounds like this. So right away I had some uh, some kind of white noisy thing to work with. So for the low end I I had the same thoughts in mind. I pitched down the sample and did some low pass on it and resample it. So it sounds like I did it, did this, I got some very clean sine waves almost. And uh, I also knew that I would want to have something more to work with. Let me see if I can find it. I think we have it here, yeah. So I grabbed a, a sampler here and I took the previous resample I showed you and put it in the sampler and I just tried out some overdrive on it and automated it. I came up with uh, something like this. And uh, as you can see, I, I thought that this part was kind of good to work with so I, I grabbed it and used it in a bunch of sounds that I will show you in a second yeah so that's uh, the three type of building blocks I guess I used for this project uh, yeah so let's move on So in the build up we have a scene and uh, that's basically one of my resamples of uh, the original sample put into serum and uh, I used used the same resample of the original sample as wavetables for the respace I, ha I have here Yeah, and onto the drop we have uh, these layers. So the main main synth is the same synth that I use for the intro here, and I also have a second layer, uh, which is w one of my resamples of the original sample again, the one that I low passed, you know. So it's just like a, almost like a sine sine wave synth. 
And then of course we have the funky bass. So, so this was kind of tricky to get right. Uh, of course, I use the resamples of the original sample here too. So we have uh, this one, which provides the low frequencies for the sound. And I layered it with uh, another resample of the original Shuck Say Snare sample. So it sounds like this. And then I added the white noise I extracted from the original sample using the OTT trick I showed you earlier. Yeah, and let's uh, get on to the leads. So we have some interesting leads here, at least I think. Uh, we have this. I think it's some kind of uh, accordion, maybe? Uh, anyway. Again, I use uh, a resample of the original sample as a wavetable in Serum, so it sounds like this. And the key here is to use the reverb filter uh, with the, this one, whatever, it, filter key track actually. Uh, because that's that gives the sound this uh, cool vibe, accordion vibe. So without it, it sounds like this with it yeah so that was was very fun to use I have this plucky thing which I created from the sample which is which is the melodies played throughout the whole song and this is the processing and then of course we have the 808 in the beginning. Yeah, so the 808 sounds like this. So I uh, I'm only using uh, one resample of the original sample and of course it's is the low pass version of the original sample here. This is the post processing. Uh, so the key is to get try to get the pitch uh, envelope right. So I didn't really pitch it up that much on the pitch envelope, used 8 semitones, kind of long decay for the pitch. Yeah, and for this 808 I tried out a new thing actually, I put Valhalla Supermassive on, which gave it like a spacey vibe, almost. So here we have the kick I created. Uh, so in in the sampler here, I put uh, put basically uh, the sample I Snare. I low passed and resampled. So I put it in the sampler here and uh, did this. So it sounds like this. I I resampled it again. Yeah, and uh, then I put it in a sampler. One thing I forgot to mention though is uh, is the importance of uh, the pitch envelope on the kick. So this is the pitch envelope. Yeah, and uh, then we have the snare. So basically the snare is uh, three layers. The first is the white noise I extracted from the sample snare. shown an, at the beginning. And then we have uh, the fundamental of the snare. Which, which is the same sample of the original sample I used for the kick. Uh, so independently they all sound like this. And uh, I didn't really process it that much here. Just this. And then I think I resampled it. This was the final product. Then we have the hi-hat. Then we have some toms. So again, 
I'm using uh, the same Please. sample of the original sample. That's the one I put in here. And I have some uh, processing on here, some decay and uh, pitch envelope. So I resample it down to this. Yeah, uh, I think that's all for the drums. I also have a clap after the first drop, which I created in Serum. Again, only using uh, a resample of the original sample. Snare. Uh, this is the one that I put a bunch on OTT on and <laughs> used the tail as uh, basically white noise. So I put it in the, uh, the noise oscillator here in Serum. And uh, I, I actually learned this by watching uh, a Kill the Noise tutorial where he created a bunch of drums. So shout out to him for showing me this in his tutorial. Basically, I just did this in the LFO section and uh, put it to control the level of uh, the noise oscillator which has my resample of Chuck saying snare on it. And then I use, used it, uh, the same LFO here uh, for the EQ uh, in Serum. So it sounds like this. So I basically resampled it down into audio. Uh, and where is it? It is here. Yeah. So finish it sounds like this and it's in its context it sounds like this so I really thought that uh, fitted the vibe for the first part of the second drop and uh, then when the drop continues I bring in the original snare that I showed you how I created earlier so it feels like a bit more heavy Still layering with the clap. Then we have the effects. So firstly we have uh, this. Which is basically a snare. With some delay on it. Just to fill out some uh, space in the beginning. And uh, then right before the drop we have this build up. Snare. which is created by using uh, this plugin again Valhalla Reverb N no, uh, Valhalla Supermassive and I I don't really know what I did <laughs> I just uh, played around so I think that's it there were a bunch of things I had to leave out because I didn't have time to record and edit it all but anyway I'm really happy that you watched the video and if you want you can listen to this song uh, on my SoundCloud, Crumboy uh, link will be in the description and if you like the video, you can leave a like and maybe even subscribe. Anyway, thank you so much uh, for watching this video and maybe I will see you in a future video.